Shalom, this is Gamal Ya'ala out of Great Millstone, Atlanta, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing this truth and sincerity. Alright, this is just a quick lesson, alright, and it's going to be centered around the point that Apostle Tahar made in uh, one of his recent videos. Uh, he made the point, um, the video was called XIUIC member or something like that. I can't remember the exact title, um, but he said, um, you know, we all have that one demon, all right, that, that, you know, we had to conquer before we came in the truth, all right, and, um, you know, that demon really can, can, can come back, all right, it can, you know, Apostle Tahari brought out that precept, um, the, this, that demon comes back and, um, it, it enters, it enters into your temple, all right, and it's all swept and clean, all right, um, but I'm just doing this video making the point that, you know, you really have to, um, you know, really purge that off and, and put that demon in check so that it can't come back, all right, and, and become stronger, all right, because uh, we all have, you know, something that we did before the truth, all right, whether, um, you know, it's, it's a hobby, a particular hobby that you used to do, or your your career, all right, or you know it could be women, uh, you know drink, you know some some brothers had a drinking problem, some brothers smoked weed. For me, that was you know one thing, you know. But um, you know when you when you when you come in this thing, all right, uh, you basically you know are a new person. You're basically clean, okay. Really, really, your sins are forgiven. Once you, you know, know the name of Yahweh Shai and, and, and you know how to, you know, the proper way to repent, all right, then your sins become forgiven, all right? So it's important that you don't go back down that same route, all right, because, you know, you're just going to die, you know, if, if, if you let that demon uh, basically take take back a hold of you, all right, then really you weren't, you weren't a man of the Lord to begin with, all right? So this is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right. If any man love the fa the if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. See, so you know the things that that we used to to love were of the world. Okay. Before we came in the truth, all of us had something, you know that that we. Uh, that we held dear, all right, you know, like I said, whether it's a hobby or, or, you know, some type of profession or something, all right, we all, we all had something before we came into the truth, so for some, for some people it's Christianity and religion, everyone, everyone held on to a particular religion, a false religion before coming into the truth, all right, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, if any man loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him, for all that is in the world, the uh, the lust of the flesh, all right, because that's all this is anyway. All right, when you're in the world, all you're all you're really thinking about is is money, all right, and, and making it, all right, and and, and you know security. I want to be financially stable. I want to be, you know, the the best, whatever it is, you know. I, I want to be the best uh, artist or or whatever. It, but it, but all that is lust, lust of the flesh, okay? Lust of the eyes, and and the pride of life. See, so it, that's that's the pride of life. If 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 you know in the world, if you want to be you know the the best, uh, you know whatever it is, best basketball player, that's the pride of life because you want to be basically, uh, you know. Uh, I guess uh, you you want to have an image to the world, okay? You want to you want to be the best in the world, which is nothing wrong with being the best. But I'm just talking about as far as um, you know, doing it for for self gratification or or doing it for the for the um, you know, for really it's in vain, you know. That's the point I'm making. But uh, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. All right. And the world passeth away. See, this world's on its way out. All right. So if you're of the world, or or you're still, or you still have remnants of of, you know, 
um, those things that that you know uh, you know that that demon if you still have remnants of that demon all right that that you know uh, you used to that used to have a hold over you so like you all right uh, it's gonna pass away all right and he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. All right. So, how do we combat this? We have to do the will of the Most High. All right. Okay. It's nothing wrong with, you know, you know whatever you do. If 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 you do, uh, you know, art like you know visual art or something something like that, before you came into the truth, and you're still. I'm not saying you just don't do it at all. You know what does it say here? It says, uh, "He that doeth the will of the of the Most High abideth forever." So you can still do that, but everything has to be done in balance. You have to make sure that that you're that you're taking care of what you have to, all right, um, <clears throat> in your day to day. All right, you have to make sure that 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 you're being fed in the spirit. All right, and and, and you know, you you're not just uh, your flesh isn't isn't basically taking a hold over you all right because like I said it's easy it's very easy for that demon to, to, to basically jump back on you all right because you're, you're not putting it in check okay you have to put these demons in check you know so that so that they can't come back at all because if you give them a chance of, 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 of basically coming coming you know entering back into your mind all right then then it's gonna be worse, all right. And Apostle Tahari, um, he brought the precept um, that the end of the end, the end state of a man is worse than the first, all right. So this is uh, actually, let me see. Uh, bear with me one second, okay. Uh, where is it at? It's lucky. Okay. This is Second Timothy two and four. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. See, so we can't we can't be too much uh you know involved involved in this life. Like I said, it's a balance. All right, but we have to remember that that um you know Yahweh Shai designated designated us to 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 have a purpose, all right, which is which is to do the will of the Most High, which is to teach, to prophesy, to to um, build in the spirit, you know, to 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 be you know be amongst the brethren, the brotherhood, you know, all right. No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. So who chose us to be a soldier? Yahweh Shai. All right. So we have to. Um, we had to please him, all right, by by not being trapped up in this life, okay, all right, um, you know, having having that balance because it's easy to get out of balance, okay. Like I said, I mean, you know, you may still be, um, you know, you you may still be doing that same profession or hobby that 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 you had in the world, all right, but um, you know, when you come into this truth. That really has to come on the back burner, and if it doesn't come on the back burner, then then really you're entangling yourself with with the affairs of this life. That's basically what you're doing, you know. All right, so uh, this is uh, Sarat twenty three, actually, it's like. Let me get a uh, Ephesians. One second. It's lock here. Okay. My page was ripped. All right. Ephesians two and eleven. No, no, no. Let me get. Uh, Okay, 
Ephesians 4 and 22, that ye put off, uh, I'll start at 21, and if, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, so we were taught by the Spirit, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the, the deceitful lust. See? And, and that's nothing but deceitful lust. Okay? Because, um, like I said, when, when you were in the world, you want to get money. You want to be the best. You want to, you know, all your, all your hopes are in vain. Okay? You, they always ask you that question five years from now. What do you want to be? Um, you know, I want to be in a lamb. I want to be in a lamb Lamborghini. I want to, uh, you know, have a mansion. I want to live on a beach. You know, and and that's all lust of the flesh. If if you ask any of these women out here, you know where they want to be in five years, or really anyone, everyone's gonna say, "Well, I want to have a lot of money. I want to, you know, grow my business. I want to do this, and do that." And and that's just lust of the flesh. It's just cares of the world. All right, you won't hear anyone say, well, five years from now." All right, and and I'm just speaking um, hypothetically because you know, Lord willing, I don't, I mean, I don't see us being here, you know, another five years, all right, but, um, and Lord willing, we're not, you know, but, uh, what was I saying, um, that's, you know, that's all deceitful lust, all right, you, you're not going to hear someone say, oh, in, uh, in five years, I, I want to be, I want to grow spiritually, I want to, um, you know, be I want to be perfect I want to live I want to increase in righteousness you know you don't hear that all you hear is just vanity all you know this and this and this and that but Ephesians 4 and 22 that you put off concerning the former conversation which is uh, that word conversation I got a definition here in my Bible says life so you gotta put off your former life see so your former life is what demons your former life is of the world all right okay uh the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind so you have to be re re renewed in the spirit of your mind which is what the truth okay you have to you have to um you know uh going back to that precept all right, the house is clean and, and swept, all right, and it's, and it's nice and neat. Everything is organized, you know. Uh, that's how you're renewed in the spirit. You're being cleansed, okay? All right, you're being cleansed. You're being, uh, you, you know, you're, you're uh, being made pure, okay? And that you put on the new man, which is, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness see so you're being made righteous you're being made holy okay all right and this is a uh, Sirach uh, 23 and 5 turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence all right and uh, let's look up that word concupiscence I think it's concu concup concupiscence yeah all right and it says uh, Desire, craving, longing. Desire for what is forbidden. See? So, uh, turn away from me vain hopes, which was the life. So, all a bunch of vain hopes, you know. Um, you know, I want to graduate college. I want to have a career. I want to, you know, have kids by 30 and all that bullshit, you know. Turn away from me vain hopes and concupiscence. Which is which is uh, you know desire, okay? You know lust, okay? And thou that hold him up, that is desire, that is des desirous always to serve thee. All right, let and and um, if I can make this point too, um, you know you you should ask the Lord to 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 turn away, turn this spirit away from you, all right? Because it can keep revisiting you, all right, and, um, you know, even myself, I a lot of times see a lot of, a lot of old friends and, and, you know, people that, that, 
you know, are, are you know, successful. And Lord willing, really, I was going to tie that into this video, but I'll probably just make it a separate video. All right, but, um, you know, you get a lot of these uh, old, um, old colleagues and stuff or people that you knew that do, do that do or did the same thing that you do all right um and uh and you see where they're at now and you're like well damn you know you you, you kind of feel like you kind of feel like uh you should have um you kind of feel like um you know you you could have been in that spot or you could have been you know better you see where they're at and you kind of not really envy it, but you kind of like, I mean, yeah, it is, it is really kind of envious, envy or covetous, covetness, covet, coveting, you know, but, um, you know, then you check yourself immediately like, nah, fuck that. I'm in the truth now. I got to you know, fuck all that. All that is just lust of the world. It's just of the flesh. All right. So you have to check that demon. All right. That woulda, coulda, shoulda demon. All right. Okay. Uh, let not. The greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me. Which all that is is greediness. You know? Nor lust of the flesh take hold of me and give not over me thy servant into an impudent mind. Alright? Hear, O oh, hear, oh ye children, the the dis, the discipline of, thy, of the mouth. He that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips. Alright? So we have to continue to, 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 you know, strive for the best, strive for perfection, starve, you know, those demons, those those previous demons that were on you, and keep pushing and, and um, you know, staying diligent. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, you brothers were edified. Shalom.